We're going to real Kiwi fishing this week. Steve and I are still in the north. We're at another special place. We're here to set the Kontiki today. Setting it today basically because we've got about a 30 knot wind. Can't get out on the boat. Surf casting is a little bit hard, but we've got the surf casters with us anyway. It's offshores here, so might pick something up on the um, surf caster as well. It's quite bright, sunny, crystal clear water, so it is a little bit hard for surf casting. This is why we sort of bring the Kontiki with us for days like this. We can't get out on the boat, it's bright, surf casting is hard. So rather than sitting back at the cabin for five or six hours waiting for the evening, we're here to set the Kontiki and we might pick some fish up on the surf casters as well. So hope we get into a few fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, the other morning, Steve and I had a bit of a um, surf cast session in the harbour. Did really well using that Mutsu hook. So I'm basically using it again today. You can see it just sort of cuts back harsh on itself. It's the rig that I make myself, five ounce. Now we're at a beach that's quite shallow, and like I was saying, it's very crystal clear water, but the tide's going out and that's in my favor, and it's actually close to the evening when it's dead low, and the further out you get, I feel the better the fishing is. It's lots of um, pippies and stuff like that on this beach, so there is food there, and there is bait fish also. So uh, we'll see how we go. I actually caught a nice trevally off here a couple of seasons ago so that would be another uh, great catch but yeah as that tide goes out just get sort of closer and closer there's i think there's a little drop off maybe two three hundred meters out so i'll wade out a little bit but as that tide drops we um, can get into that a little bit deeper water but um, i'll bait up and i'll flick out see how we go Okay guys, first bait, half pilly, gonna chuck it out, I won't set the breakaway, don't think there's a lot of current here, if there is I'll obviously set it, it is quite nice sometimes fishing quite a tight sort of line rather than having a bow but it is quite offshore but I'll, um, I'll set them if I need to. So I've just flicked out as hard as I could, probably got about, I'd say about 120, got the wind behind me, so it obviously helps. Got some good distance there, gave it a good flick. Now because I'm using that uh, Mutsu suicide hook. Gonna run a little bit of a tight drag again. And all that basically does is when a fish grabs it, pulls. If they have your drag set too loose, it'll actually just pull it and it won't tighten up and the hook won't set itself. So when you're using those suicide hooks, it's quite good to just set a little bit harder drag than you normally would. You do get uh, stingrays here, 
so you don't want it too tight you'll look around and your rod's gone So I just got a little grab there. I am picking it was probably just a car why, but you just never know on this beach. Like I was saying, there's plenty of food for snapper, plenty of food for big trevs. It's biting again. It's a couple of little taps. We're hooked up, guys. Probably just a car wai. But that's not too bad. Be nice to have some car wai baits. Later on in the evening, if those snapper come on the bite, it's always good to have some of those harder baits. Could even try one now. It's a nice size too, so we could probably have a have a big chunk for tonight for our dinner, and we can use half of it for bait. There you go, just a little car I might try a bit now, chuck it out, never know. Okay, I've got that car wire on there. Now I can basically just leave it in the rod holder let that Mitsu hook do its thing. And that's the great thing about car wire, I can just let it do that. Been getting some bites, looks like car wire again. So I can just leave it there. My portrait would be gone by now. Yeah, heaps of little bites there. Probably car wai. But sometimes you just never know. We're hooked up again. <laughs> Feels like a snapper this one. Yeah, <laughs> just a little fella. There you go, it's just a little fella, but big enough for the bin. Just a little fella. OK, 
Okay, Steve-O's cranking in the tiki. So I better come over and give him a hand. See how we go. Hope we got a uh, couple of snapper at least. Okay guys, hooks are coming in, got a fish there, hopefully we don't just have one would be nice looks pretty dry and most of the baits are still there it'll sink it looks very dry I can see one more fish there. Which I think is a cow eye. Night no, snapper. Okay guys, did the Kontiki the other day and it was very dry, I think we got two snapper. Got a heap of wind with us today so we sort of stuck on shore and we thought we'd come and give the Kontiki another nudge. We've come over the other side, we were over at Puweki the other day and that's where we got a couple of fish. Had a bit of bait gone on the hooks but a lot of it was still there so we thought we'd come over this side. It's more offshores, it's blown a southwest. Nice swell rolling, so it's stirring everything up as well. So yeah, we'll give it another shot, see if we can get onto a few fish this time. Just got a bit of car -wise that we caught. We were thinking we were going to be stuck on the land doing the contiki, so we caught a couple and kept them for bait. Okay guys, we're all baited up with our favourite tubes of kawai. So we're just going to do a full run, about 20-25 minutes. And then we'll probably do about a 30 minute soak. See what happens on the first. We're just going to do two sets. Just bought enough for two sets, battery wise. Not too much in the way of cross shore winds, 
Not sure about the um, current, but pretty much it's gonna face it straight out. Of course, steve has got the GPS model, so you can off offset it. Okay, steve has ready. Drop her in. Sink her on. That little sinker. sinker going on and then a couple that we stick in behind this is on your way been soaking for about half an hour so we'll see how we go on this set any more than two is good pretty much nobody on the beach There's a couple walking down there That's pretty much it Only in the north. She's a little heavy, guys. Might be onto a few fish if we're lucky. Just giving a little bit of a hand. Fingers crossed. It's fish and not weed. It's not overly heavy. We've had it pretty heavy couple of times with some good fish okay guys we're on the leader let's hope there's some fish yep got a snapper there Nothing big. Just a little fella. Just gonna let him go. Got another one. And another one. There's a few fish there guys, but 
nothing of decent size yet. Definitely plenty of fish there. That's why it was a little heavy. A decent one there. This one here is not a bad fish. Letting these smaller ones go. Had about four small ones there. Let's swim away, which is good. It hasn't been out there that long. Remember to always hold your fish upside down. They normally calm right down, they go into like a trance. You can see that he's pretty much just sitting there. Still breathing, his gills are going, which is a good sign. He's actually probably takeable, he's probably close to that sort of 30, 31, 32. But it's always good to let those smaller ones go, especially if you're not too sure. He'll just slowly make his way out. We've actually got an algae bloom out here on Tokoro. And you can see, probably see all those shells. And I don't know if that's from it. So he's pretty much gone. But yeah, I'm not sure if you can see all those shells. There's just stacks of them. Devo just let go another one. He's just here. He'll make his way out to. So we let go about five, five or six small ones. So before we pulled the Kontiki in, right in, we just stopped it, put the smaller fish in, back in. There you go guys, how's that? A little box of happiness. A little bit better than the, uh, the last one, Stevo. Yeah. So 
a nice fish. One of the better ones. The rest in there probably about 34, 35. Got about seven, seven there. So there you go guys, how's that? A little bit better than our last one. We only got two on that last one over at Puiki. Hopefully you enjoyed that little uh, real Kiwi fishing adventure with the uh, Kontiki off Tokoro. Till next time, tight lines.